we've been able to take care of the basic concepts of uh, building upon Solana Network, you understand, we've been able to deal with the installation of the package, setting up our development environment, you know, the Web3 SDK, how it was built with TypeScript, how we use it to generate key pairs, the public and your private key pairs. We've also been able to check uh, balance on the um, on the Solana network. We've been able to to put in some uh, dev test, you know, DevNet uh, free token from the token file set. We've been able to send transaction between accounts. So those are the basic things that you needed to know in this section. So from now, we want to focus on to tokenomics. You understand how to launch. You know a meme coin so we're going to create a meme coin you know be able to distribute it to different accounts and so on and even name it package it properly so that is what we're diving in into now you should be aware that in solana there are multiple or different kinds of accounts for example you have your main account which holds your solana tokens you have another account when you create a a uh, a meme coin which is an alternative to ERC20 token if you're dealing with the Ethereum uh, space and in this particular Solana ecosystem it's basically you can create it from your SPL you know Solana program library and when it is launched it's launched under an account and that account is called token account just like a smart contract has its own account in, in Solidity and in the EVM space. That is how uh, an, uh, a, a program has its own account. That token is called a program, you understand? So a program has its own account. And there's also another account called, I mean, a program is also associated with the main account, you understand? So whomever launched that program, we be the token owner so the owner of that account belong you know that association is there and also there is another account type that is called associate account which holds the uh, the minted tokens from of a particular meme coin so you have the idea of what I'm talking about maybe if you don't you will see all that as we create this in the video so let's jump in and start developing so now we need to Duplicate this, close this. Um, oh, let's just create a new file. Okay, all together, we'll create a new file. We'll call it 04 underscore um, create token dot yes. And in case you don't understand, this is an example of what we are t talking about. Like, this is a token right here that I created. You know just for this particular example so I created this token that mentors Academy and you can see the current supply you can see uh, the mint authority which is the account that is you know responsible for managing this token and uh, you can see this is um, this is my uh, the tokens account you understand these are various transactions that have taken place on this particular you know talking so far so um that is what we're trying to do you know now from now you can that you can then use this to mint you know to other people's accounts and so on so this is what we're trying to achieve you know using this so let's go back so want to say touch or let's just say code so that to open up here great so we have that the first thing I want to do is um, I want to copy some things that I've already done here such as this information I'm going to come here and create them so right and we need let's save this first we need to make sure that because we're dealing with environment variables so we need to make sure that we have this in place we import this dot the MV, otherwise this will be producing error for us so once we have that we want to get the senders account okay which we did have before so I'm gonna get this connection um, yeah this connection because I'm gonna need all this so I'm gonna import this 
items yep and also this and the sender i want to call it owner in this case so this will be the owner of this token that i'm about to create so now we have the owner we also have um we also have the the connection ready so from here we can create that token now so we say const token okay is it called to call this await function and then there is something called create token i mean create mint sorry this is how they they call it and this is coming from a library that we don't yet have so we need to install that library now so to get this library you need to run this code um yarn add this solana at solana slash spl dash token so this is the library that is responsible for managing token and every functionalities of a token is in this library so let's add it now so we have it installed now that it's installed we can run this to import so we can import this create main from spl token so you can see that here great so inside here you will need to supply some parameters that is needed to create a token you know these are the various parameters you need a connection so let's add a connection okay after a connection you need a payer so the account that is responsible for paying for all these charges or the gas fee and all of that so which is this owner you will need a mint authority so who do you want to be the owner of this mint this token okay so i want and that must be a public key and not just a key pair so i want it to be this owner the public key of this owner this there is also a freeze authority so a freeze authority is responsible for for freezing that token but we don't want to do any freeze authority so we'll supply a null value there and there is also um a decimal like how many decimal places okay that your token is gonna have so like my token if you check here it has two decimal places so i'm gonna add i'm gonna make sure that it's two decimal places here so you can see that error is gone so this is how you create a token so this will create a token and you need to you need to view that token at the end of the day so how do you view it there's a line of code called this const this link want to get a link okay and the link can be done with this thing called get explorer link it's coming from this dev developer helper function as well so get explorer link and which kind of link you want an address link or a block link or a transaction link or a tx link so we want a an address link so we want to know the address of this token that we just you know created all right and then when this token return it returns you know it returns the value which you want to convert to you know string this returns a public key or you can keep it like that the public key is already visible but you know you want to just make sure you keep it at as a token i mean as a string you understand and you want to also up, uh, specify which uh, network that you are targeting we have local network we have um, main nets and we have test net we're targeting the dev net okay so we now have this and at the end of the day you want to log out something on the console saying um, we're saying that done you know created token a token you understand and you can supply the the token address so by just specifying this link here okay so you can even do something extra by adding this uh, emoji con to just make it look a lot cooler so there we go let's create a token and see how it is so i'm gonna run this run um 
I'm gonna just do this so that I'm doing this I'm dividing this stamina so that the length of the string will not overstretch and you know become you know like getting getting to my face you know you don't want you want to see everything so I'm making sure that that is in this way or I could just I don't need that I don't think I need that no I don't need that I could just do this instead oh I guess I need that so I'm gonna do this okay so here we go so we'll run yes mpx yes run and zero four token create token so let's run that and see do, 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 do. so it's been created and you can see the url location where this token is so i'm just gonna do this and copy the link come to the browser and when i come to the browser i could just paste it here you can see it gives me the accurate url address you know so do this do, 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 do. yep this is the token you see unknown token it doesn't have any information this is the token account you know this is the main authority this is our address this is the decimal and current supply is zero and all of those things you can see the transaction that happened here so this is how you create a token so in the next part of this video we'll go to adding some cool metadata on this token to make it beautify it so that it can you know say something like you know dab mentors or whatever branding that you want to give it all right so i'll see you in the next video